their best win in program history. Interesting matchup at the Faceoff X tonight. Nick Rowlett will take the first one for Michigan. You'll see him alternate out with Justin Wheatfelt. Probably about every three faceoffs, they'll switch places. And Chase Mullins is the number one guy for Penn State. And the opening possession belongs to the Nittany Lions after the faceoff violation. The Marines get consistent production from the midfield. Look out, because you know you're getting from 5, 40, and 9 on the attack line. As Rowlett wins this, that's uh, back-to-back goals for Michigan in rapid-fire succession. And Jeff Tambroni and Penn State have to be thinking, here we go again. Off to a slow start last weekend against Hopkins. They dug their way back to force overtime. It's an early 2-0 lead for Michigan. Three minutes versus Maryland. And we asked him, what are the keys to putting a full game together? As we get a violation on the face-off Michigan ball, he said they've been harping on consistency. It's kind of plagued them all year. King Sawada's 19th assist. Michigan's lead is back to two. Wolverines have taken four shots. They've converted on three of them. And they've won three face-offs in a row. State snaps that skid as Jack Posey spoons it, gets it to Kevin Parnum. Parnum's pass off the mark. Ground ball up for grabs. Maybe Lions bench wanted a hold as Peden had it for a moment. 12 and blue. It's kicked out and scooped up by Kyle Aldridge, part of that pet thing sandwich between his stick and the turf. That is a three on three brawl on top of the block end. Drew, it's always crazy to me if face-off guys are able to hold the ball in that little tight moment, but then look back at the referee and have a conversation with him. <laughs> that was kind of a blast from the past, that face-off. I feel like I was watching like a 2017 college lacrosse game. <laughs> if you're a tough player, great job by, by Bonomi. Bonomi scores for the second game in a row. Also had a snipe at Rutgers. Last weekend, and he's got the final goal of the first quarter as Michigan. That was a banger. It's good to see Kevin Winkoff continuing to succeed. Transfer from Binghamton, native of Cold Spring Harbor on Long Island. He was the hero last weekend against Hopkins. Game time goal and the game winner in double overtime. A Winkoff walk-off if you will, over the record books. It's a young Michigan program, but Zawada, their all-time leader in goals, assists, and of course, points. Michael Bame, the junior, does have a chance to catch up with his teammate next year. Bame tied for second in program history. Another face-off win for the Wolverines. That's eight compared to three for the Nittany Lions. Michigan has a team sixth in the country and just a tick below 60%. Rowlett. Bryce Clay came in with nine goals this year. He's got two tonight. As the whistle gives the faceoff to Penn State, snapping a streak of five in a row for Michigan. Yeah, we asked him about that early deficit against Hopkins. He said, this wasn't a lot of purpose or heartbeat to how we were playing early came out, they were more aggressive, more confident, played with more conviction, erased the deficit, and ultimately won. What do they have here? As they start with the ball, Kevin Winkoff will trigger it. Hometowns on Michigan's attack. Rocky River, Ohio for Bame, Boca for Cohen, Raleigh for Zawada. I mean, Michigan, by college lacrosse standards, is basically on the West Coast. And grad student from Grand Rapids. He's got three goals. Michigan leads by four. It's their largest lead today. Chase Mullins wins the faceoff for Penn State. In to avoid the goal mouth. That was really impressive. Is that the shot in the arm Penn State needs? Nittany Lions ball after the faceoff. That's what they're going to need to keep pushing towards getting this. Matt Trainer's first tonight. Jack Trainer, his older brother,'s got two, including. A filthy crease dive that made it 8-5. So back-to-back -back goals for the Nittany Lions. They've been struggling offensively today. They trailed by four earlier in this third quarter. They also trailed by four last time out, though, against Johnson.
16 seconds left in the third. Michigan wins the faceoff with Justin Wheatfield. Under 10 to shoot. Michael Bame trying to go to work against the short stick Sickler. Bame fires. Therapy me in, in text. Um, but again, it's, it's all mental, right? You have to be able to come out and forget about wins and losses and just be able to play your game. Even without it, this game, they're only down by two. Face-off win for Chase Mullins. A sky hooked it to a teammate there to get Penn State. Another offensive possession. You see Penn State now two for two on the extra man. And will they play make it take it? Mullins digging with Rowlett. Penn State ball. Kyle Aldrich comes out of the pack and the Nittany Lions can tie it. Spot, huge opportunity from the same spot he had on that previous man up shot as well. Nick Rowlett tracked down the faceoff for Michigan for a moment, but TJ Malone, seven in blue, ends up with it for Penn State. The amazing thing about this performance is Malone, who leads the Big Ten in points per game at 4.6. Catching it loaded and just getting the ball out of their sticks. That's such a unique and difficult skill. Well, that release was unfair. That was Steph Curry-esque with a quick trigger. I don't have anything else to say about that. Wow. Oh my goodness. I can hear the Sports Center music now. Career high six for Jack Trainer. Carrying the mail.